Okay, here's my F35 Easy Build from RC Powers. Kind of late on uh, getting the, a lot of the other people have gotten their planes up and running already, but um, it was free. You can go get one for free too. Um, so I built it up, painted it up. Tell you the truth, I've already made the thing. Um, but I had a 100 amp speed control, a four cell battery, uh, super mega jet motor, 6x4 prop. The thing was just way too heavy. So right now what I did is I switched out I switched out the motor for the uh, the mega jet motor, 6x4 prop, put a 40 amp speed control and uh, it's pulling exactly 40 watts at full throttle. So, um, And then I was using, like I said, a 4 cell, but now I went down to a 3 cell 1600 um, amp speed control. And I got, I put little BBs right here that'll tell me that's my center of gravity, so I can flip the plane over and get a good CG, which works out good because I really had to go and balance, especially going from a four cell to a smaller three cell. So anyways, there it is. That's my build. And uh, like always, who cares if it flies or not because it was fun to build. All right, well, let's get it out there and see if we can get it flying. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go with a finally a flight of a of the F-35, but I tried it on the smaller microjet motor, didn't really, on a 3-cell, didn't really pull it off. So I put the bigger uh, super mega jet motor on there with the 3-cell, because I want to fly it on a 3-cell. So let's see what it's got. Oh, it feels better already. Yeah, it feels great now. Oh, that's nice. That is good. Actually got my elevons on low rates, but I put my rudders on high rates. On the low rates, they just didn't do a whole lot. But look at it now, it's really flying. Can pull it out of high alpha if I need to. A little bit of rocking and rolling. All right, let's just fly it around. Let's get it up high, maybe do a loop or something. Let's try a loop. Kind of a lazy loop. Now I see what they were talking about when they said this thing flies so good. Um, when I first did it, it didn't fly good at all. Now I think I got the setup going with the super mega jet motor on a 1600 milliamp battery 3 cell. That's really... And I got a 40 amp speed control at full throttle. It's pulling about 38, 39 amps. I think we'll be okay with that. She's flying real good. Look at that. Try to bring it in a little closer. Let's try it. Let's try a speed pass here. Very good. Yeah, this is my this is the setup for, for my plane for me, what I like. That three cell. I mean, I could. I still can't put a four cell in there. And that thing will be smoking and hauling. But I don't think it's necessary. I'm sure I'll have fun to try a four cell in it. I'll videotape on a four cell. But this is the good setup where the motor doesn't get hot, speed control doesn't get hot. It flies great, and you can pull it up out of high alpha if you need to. And that's the that was the uh, issue that I was having. It would go in high alpha and just start sinking. A lot of rocking though. Whoa. A little too much rocking and rolling. Paint job paint job came out pretty cool. I mean it looks good from far, but far from good.
Maybe the you know plane might be just a tad nose heavy too. It's slow flying. It's good. And that sound really reverberates off of the houses around here, which is kind of a drag, but All right, let's get it up higher. I'll show you some inverted flying. To really tell if it's nose heavy or not. There you go. Oh, look at that. Wants to rock off to one side. Oh, you know, and I have my... I have my battery on the left side because I had a reverse prop on it and um, I put a regular prop on it and left my battery on the left side of the plane so if I move it over to the right side that might take care of some of the rock and some of that weird inverted tipping over to one side. Okay let's bring it in and see how the battery's doing, see if the speed control's hot, if the motor's hot. You know, just some regular fun flying is all we really did. Oh, there's there's what they were talking about with the elevators. When you land with an elevator, it just it wants to pop off of there. Glue it back on. That's all we can really do. All right. Let's see here. There we go. Now look at that. I can hold right onto that motor. Not so hot. Speed control. Speed control's got nothing going on there. It's not hot at all. And then my battery shoved up on the left side, like I said. Yeah, just lukewarm, not very bad at all, what you would expect. That's fantastic. Fantastic. And, and there it is.